This is Dan May from Ramsack. In my one minute how-to video today, I'm gonna to talk about the search bar in Microsoft Teams. It's a feature that's often overlooked. Right at the top center, you've got the search bar. You can click on it to use it, or from your keypad, you can just press Control and E, and it will take you to it as well. Whole load of things you can do. The first and most obvious thing is search for something you're looking for. So in, if, for example, I use the word demonstration and click search, in the left-hand side, I see, first of all, all of the messages that I've been involved with, either in chats or Teams, where the word demonstration features. If I clicked on people, if I had a colleague called demonstration, which strangely enough I don't, they would feature down in this list here. Or if I click on the word files, I've got all of the files that are either called demonstration or contain the word demonstration, which are quickly listed for me. Uh, there are also further search filters uh, if you need to narrow the search down, if it gives you loads and loads of results. That's really handy if you've got loads and loads of data in your teams and you're struggling to find the document that you're looking for. As well as searching, if I use the forward slash key, I can come up with a whole load of shortcuts. Lots of things that you can look at here, but just to show you an example of how those work, if I wanted to quickly send a chat message to one of my colleagues, I can type forward slash chat. And then I can choose, I can either type the name of the person or just click one of my recently used contacts and then type a very quick message here and press return. And that message has been sent. If I wanna go into that chat window, I just press enter again and it will take me to the chat window. Equally, forward slash call allows me to make a very quick video call with a colleague. Again, I can type the name of the colleague I'm looking for, or I can just click on the name of a recently used contact and a video call will start. And a feature I really like, if you've got a upcoming important conference video conference call and you just want to check that all your audio is working, typing forward slash test call, To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Your message will then be played back to you. I can leave a test recorded message. I can leave a test recorded message. And when I press hang up, it runs a quick diagnostic that just confirms that everything's working okay. There you go, all available in the search bar. I hope you found that useful. There's lots more information on Microsoft Office 365, Microsoft Teams, and all kinds of useful IT tips for businesses on our blog at www.ramsack.com forward slash blog.